Okay, and now one of my favorite parts, as you guys know, that I am a fan of wireless. Check this out. We are on, and it is wireless. <laughs> How's it going, YouTube? This right here is a key move mechanical keyboard. Well, 60% mechanical keyboard. This Logitech that I've been using for the last six years, maybe more, seven years. And I only charge it around three times to two times a year. And it's not a gaming keyboard. So a lot of people aren't gonna like that because if you're a gamer, this is something that you might wanna look into instead. But let's just unbox this, protected with some film here. Let's take this out. Be careful with your extra switches there. Green switch, tan switch, and a white switch. Let's see what accessories we get. Now this is a USB type C. Nice, and it's a long cable and it's really soft. Okay, so this is the key remover, pulls out, and then this is actually the one to pull off the switch. Just gonna wiggle it out. That's a brown switch. And there is a right way to put that back inside so you can see the little prongs next to it. Okay, and now one of my favorite parts, as you guys know, wireless right here and my monitor is still bright. When I saw this, I was like, hell yeah, I want this because of the size factor, the cool factor, and the fact that it's wireless. I love having wired free stuff. I mean, in person, I'm not sure if my uh, camera's gonna give you justice, which it really isn't. So yeah, it is completely wireless, mechanical, 60%. <laughs> And it's not super thick, but it's made enough for, you know, gamers are gonna enjoy the thickness. And the best part is that the keys are not super loud. They still gonna give you that feedback that gamers like, but I like them not being super loud, even though it is louder than I would really want. And this is just so much more subtle. It's so much better. I mean, I've tested a bunch of other keyboards that were gaming keyboards, but none of the gaming keyboards were ever wireless. So yes, this is the first that I know that you can use wirelessly. And there's the Windows switch and there's a Mac switch. So you're not left alone. Windows and Mac, so you can switch them over. Oh, that's actually the power. I'm looking through my monitor, Be forgive me. That is the glow for the Mac section. And if I switch over, there's the PC. But anyways, I'm sure you can customize it. This is just what is out of the box so you know that you switched over. And to be honest, depending how high you sit or how you place your hand, this is a little bit too flat. So if you do want it to elevate more towards you, there is little flaps back here. They're coated in some rubber coating so they do not slip. So if you smack it around, Let's pop this up and that elevates it up so you can see it's elevated and there we go. That looks super, super clean. This is so much better. Size difference, it is basically the same size. So it's actually a little bit shorter because we don't have this lip right here. So we got a lot less of a body ratio, but it is thicker. So yeah, which is cooler? Okay, so we're gonna press and hold the Bluetooth. This is number one and now the Z is blinking red and blue and go into Bluetooth. Once we go to add Bluetooth device, we add Bluetooth or device, Bluetooth on the computer, it says key move 61M. That is ready and I can go done. So now I can say this is my first. Okay, so I can say this is my first. Oh my God, why am I keeping doing that? This will be my first tweet. All right, so I just realized the F and D are not in the right order, A, S, F, D. So the F is the D and D is F. So naturally, take out the D, take out F, Oh, okay, now this is the down from, <laughs> let me change the camera position. Now here, there's the FN key, so we can press that and go to different colors. So clearly it's pulsating. Again, the LED looks so good. Uh, let me try turning off my monitor. Camera might not be doing justice, but it looks so clean. Let me go through another colors, and you can see now this is going over more of a softer glow that way and then move over to the next one. Is it gonna be, whoa, that is completely doing its own thing. Colors change, it's fun to look at. Bluetooth, wireless, gaming, keyboard here. Now go to the next one, so we got them, you know, moving around. And then we press the keys, 
and in the rows double tapping will change into different oh, so they do change their colors on their own Ooh, look at that and you can press a bunch and then each color is oh that's gonna be where you hit Ooh, bam bam and then over there we go more of like an implosion in that little area there's your a w s d no other colors so if you only want to see these colors so you know where to press the cycling through left right left up right left okay and then the brightness there we go Fifteen levels that is super bright now okay so you can see this whole middle has a bunch of different keys function keys and the u all the way to the section has the colors and I don't know, that might be different profiles. And the Z, X, and C are one, two, three Bluetooth devices. And then right over here, we do have other function keys as well. Always, when you wanna select any of those, just press the FN key. So yeah, that is how it works. It's a hefty keyboard here. Rubber feet are super grippy. They snap right into place. Only logo. I hope you can hear me because I've been talking down didn't realize that I'm not talking into the microphone because it's new to me. So there you guys have it. If you want for yourself, you already know what to do. Find it all in the description down below. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Later. And my road is recording. Now I'll bring on the lights. I need to sneeze. <coughs>